50 year retrospective of boundary breaking. I hope you know Joyce Scott Paul is now open at the Baltimore Museum of Art. And Marty is out there hanging out with her, having a great time proposing to Miss Scott. <laughs> yeah. Standing inside of a piece of artwork, I mean, there's a line there that says, please do not cross this line. And Joyce is sitting on her throne of knowledge. And I, I'm, I'm really tense here. I'm standing inside. Can I put my hand on you it? You may touch that bar. Just not me, but the chair, yes. Okay. We'll wait till after the commercial break, and then we'll just go to page two. Okay. Joyce, I, as a, I, I've never done this before. I ask if you would come and join us as a personal favor because we go back. Mm -hmm. I am so proud to know you. When someone says that you are studied now internationally. Yes. Does it, do, do you... Do, do you blush? When someone says what I just did, what do you think? I know that I am supposed to uh, maybe not be so happy about it or I'm not supposed to show it, but I blush. You can't see it, but I blush. But I, I want you to know my biggest, biggest joy is that it comes to me from people who had no academic education and who worked very, very hard to make sure that I could stay in school and achieve the dreams and the wonders that I wanted in my life. The color that is in the BMA, the work that you do is extraordinary. I just jokingly said, we're surrounded by a million beads and you went, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, at least, I would think. I mean, it's the entire second floor here. We're just, we just plopped you down on your throne. They gave me the whole floor, y'all. <laughs> Mike, we got one minute. Tell us about this piece you're sitting on. I was curious about the books. Well, this is, what I call the seat of knowledge. He said the throne, I don't know why. Because you're the queen. <laughs> well, and there it is. But I was someone, as I said, both my parents were sharecroppers and they didn't go to school really. It was one of the things that they were sad about. So they always gave me books and I went to the library across the street and I was surrounded by knowledge by the community and it is the thing that has placed me in the position that I'm in today. It has a lot to do with finding your way through books and learning and, and connecting with other people with this knowledge. If you go to the BMA website, uh, BMA, artbma.org, uh, you can find out more about the Joyce Scott retrospective, if you will. But coming up next half hour, I asked you off camera and you said you'd be happy to do the following. If you're a father or a mother and you've got a young one at home, I said, Joyce, I'm going to ask you a question. I'll get your answer next half hour. What would you do to start them thinking about art at this young age? And you're going to have an answer next half hour? I will. That's not the question you asked me, though. It's not, it was not for adults. I, I, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm going to step out of your piece of art. Get bar. out, Martin. Get out now. I love you. <laughs> you you are awesome. Baltimore loves you, and the world of art loves you. Thank you. Back to Denise Koch. And Sina Gabrielle. <laughs> Thank you, Marty.